A high school student is interested in attending an Ivy League school. As long as a high school student has a GPA of 4.0 and an SAT score of at least 1300, there's a 38% chance of getting accepted to any one of these institutions. One can assume that being accepted or rejected is independent across the eight Ivy League colleges. What is the probability that this student is accepted to at least one of these schools, provided that the student has met the acceptance requirement and the GPA and SAT criteria described above? Now, it's important to note that in this question, we are looking for the probability that a student is accepted to at least one Ivy League school. The way I solve these questions is to write a number line with 0, 1 through 8. Now, what could occur when a student applies to eight Ivy League schools? They could get accepted to zero of them. They could get accepted to one of them. They could get accepted to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When we look at this number line of things that can occur, we can see that they could get accepted to zero or they could get accepted to one or more. And breaking this down right here, we actually see disjoint events because either they will get accepted to zero or they will get accepted to one or more. Even more, these events are complements of each other because if you get accepted to zero, you can't get accepted to one or more. And if you get accepted to one or more, you can't get accepted to zero. This is where we start to figure out the question. Let's go ahead and try to write a sentence for what we want. We are looking for the probability of everything but getting rejected from all eight colleges. And think about that for a moment. Everything but getting rejected from all eight colleges is the probability of at least one accepting you. So everything but could be written as one minus. Getting rejected is actually the complement of getting accepted. The probability of getting rejected is 0.62. Getting rejected from all eight colleges is 0.62 to the eighth power. So one minus 0.62 to the eighth power would be everything but getting rejected from all eight colleges. And this gives us the probability of getting accepted to at least one college.